University of Buffalo and its partners are moving forward now with innovative diagnostic testing that could improve patients' care during this, this outbreak that we're all going through for almost a month now. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller has more on this angle for us tonight. This is going to be used as a tool to get people back to work, get people back to school. It's likely the next phase in the COVID-19 crisis, reintegrating people into everyday lives. And while the virus is so new and there are so many unknowns, new testing being done locally could help detect who has already been infected with COVID-19 and may or may not have known. We're trying to deliver an accurate solution. Kevin Lawson is the CEO of KSL Biomedical. The company is working with the University at Buffalo and Kaleida Health on this new initiative. This lab here at KSL is usually used for cancer testing, but will soon be transformed to a COVID-19 testing site, specifically testing for who has immunity to the virus and who has already been exposed. And Lawson says that's what they're looking for. He says the antibodies start to produce on roughly day eight of a COVID-19 19 positive patient in order to fight off the virus and they stay in a person's system. If that patient has elevated antibody levels, the person was infected with COVID-19 whether they had symptoms or not. You may be asymptomatic. Um, you may not have even known that you had it, but that doesn't stop your ability to pass it on to somebody else. Lawson says the lab will be able to perform more than 160 tests per hour with equipment provided through a partnership with UB's Buffalo Institute of Genomics and Analytics. And we are thrilled to be supporting them. And, you know, the fact that we can actually do something to impact this epidemic here regionally, I think is very, very meaningful for the university and for all of us involved. KSL will be up and running with these tests next week. The tests use a person's blood to determine if they have the antibodies. There's a little bit of a chemical reaction that generates light and the amount of light that it produces tells us whether the person has been exposed or has uh, antibodies and, a, and an immunity to the virus. The company is also working to provide data to the FDA. Reporting in Williamsville, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.